Hey, hey guys, it's Nicole. Welcome back to Chronicles of a Crafter. So today we are going to pick up where we left off making this book for our recipes for 2023, menus and uh, meal preps, etc. So here um, I have the book. It's all wrapped up. This is just the cover. I went ahead and punched all of the holes for the spine. I also went ahead and did some eyelets in here to protect each one of those holes as I thread through the um, wax cord to create the signatures as well as the folders that are going in here um, so that everything is very well protected. What I didn't do, um, oh and I also punched one up here at the top in the center of the spine for a little spine dangle and I'll show you what I made for that little section right there. I just have two more little eyelets here to complete and I'm going to um, just use my Cropodile 2 to punch, um, to seal up these two eyelets and then we can stitch in some of these signatures. So I hope you guys are having a crafty day and um, the new year has been uh, very good to you guys. So I'm just, um, I am just uh, chomping through these last two little eyelets right here that I have at the end. So the other thing that I did was I also, um, I think I left you guys with five holes on the spine, but then I realized that I have room for a sixth hole. So that worked out really well. So I ended up um, making another row of, um, of uh, holes for my signature. So again, I'm just chomping this through and, and sealing up that eyelet really well. And yeah, now we're ready to stitch in our signatures. So here I have six holes going across each section all the way down the spine of the, uh, the junk journal. So let's go ahead and stitch in our signatures. Again, I have my folders here and they have this cascading effect going on on each of the folder tabs as well as I went ahead and punched through the holes on the spine of each one of the folders at the same marks on the junk journal uh, um, spine and um, I also have all of my pages that I want to use inside of here and once we've stitched them in I'll show you exactly what they all look like so let's go ahead and do the first one and the first center is right about here. Let me get everything lined up nice and neatly. I have my needle all pre-threaded um, with our wax cord or wax thread. And we've all done this before. And this is going to take some time because I do have six signatures. But I'm just going to go in. I should probably start in the back, which is where I normally start because immediately I felt uncomfortable doing it this way so I'm going to start with the very last signature I'm going to go in through the middle here and in through the middle back here and push it all the way through I'm using a variation of both black and white thread so I was going to double it up and I figured that's just like overkill. So I'm just using, um, I'm going to use <clears throat> the, uh, the alteration of black and white thread. So it'll be black and white and black and white. And um, yeah, so I know you guys know how to do this by now. So it really doesn't require too much explanations, but for those of you who don't know, to do a three hole pamphlet stitch, which is what most of my junk journals are uh, stitched with, I will show you what I did. Ouch, as soon as I get this through here without hurting myself. So, okay, ouch, ow, this needle. <laughs> this needle's a little sharper than I want it to be. Okay, so here is my, um, my thread and I think I threaded my thread 
So there's a couple of things that you want to make sure that you don't do and one of them is this. You don't want to thread your thread. So when you're um, pulling it through uh, the junk journal, um, you want to make sure that you don't accidentally thread your cord on the last stitch. Okay, so there's that. I'm just going to try to get everything nice and even before I explain what I just did. So you go through the center of the book or the center of your signature spine um, signature spine and then you go all the way through the book the back here in the middle okay then you go up to the top or the bottom it doesn't matter which way you go first but from here you go to one of these outer uh, holes and you thread it all the way through to the back of the book then you come all the way down to the bottom if you did the top first and you thread it all the way through again and then um, you come back through the uh, back side of the um, of the spine and uh, the middle hole and push it through and come out again so here we have both threads they came through the middle you want to make sure you did not thread your thread when you're pushing it through that last middle section and uh, you also want to make sure everything is straight top and bottom side to side you don't want your pages in the book crooked like this you want to make sure that everything is straight and even and then you want to pull it tight but not tearing so just make sure everything is nice and tight or taut as they say and uh, and straight and you also want to make sure that you have one string on one side of this bridge and the other string on the other side of the bridge and now we're going to tie it off into a little bow or you can leave it dangling for you can put a spine um, some jewelry you know charms or what have you so I'm going to tie it once in a first in a cross knot and then a lock knot and then a little bow so a lock knot is basically when you do right over left once and then you do left over right so it's the opposite direction and you have yourself a little box knot or a lock knot as they call it and that will never come out I mean my bow may come out but as far as my knots are concerned they will never come out alright so now I'm gonna go ahead and do the second signature all of these are covered in a uh, file folder that we made in previous video and I'm going to put all these into like a little um, series or playlist so you can easily find them. And um, I used black thread on the previous one, so now I'm going to use white thread. And we're going to do the same exact thing again. I threaded my needle. I'm going to find the center of the signature and the center hole. And I'm going to go to the hole, the, the row of holes on the spine of the book that's right next to the previous. And things are going to get a little wonky um, as you go through it. You just have to make sure that you are doing the right hole on the back side of the book as well as um, on the right, on the signature. So, just trying to find my hole there. Line it all up. Pull it through. So, yeah, again, things may get a little twisted while you're working on it, but um, right before you tie it up, into that lock knot you want to make sure that everything is nice and straight as well as you went through all the correct holes on this back side so there's that and that so just checking to make sure I didn't just thread my my cord and everything is moving as it should you can pull on it and it'll adjust and I'm also double checking my uh, cascade to make sure that my folders are laying in the right position in the book. So there's that. And I'm going to pull it tight. Oh, you see the, I didn't even check. One string has to be on one side of the, the little bridge and the other string on the opposite side. Okay, let's make sure that everything is nice and straight again. Nothing's hanging out or wonky. And I'm going to tie this up into a lock knot. Right over left. And then left over right. And then a little bow. 
so whoops little bow little bow get in there <laughs> okay there we go and adjust your bow as needed okay so there's that one this third one we'll do the same thing I'm going to thread my needle with some black waxed thread and stitch up the book uh, the signature in the same fashion as I did previously find the center here go to the very next hole up or next hole over <clears throat> and um, yeah, just continue from there so yesterday I had a little tickle in my throat uh, turns out I was having uh, <laughs> I was having an allergic reaction um, I ate I'm, I have a nut allergy um, to tree nuts I'm allergic to tree nuts and I don't know what happened or when this happened but at some point I, um, I ate too many nuts and peanuts um, can have the similar effect on me if I eat it in moderation so I ate probably I don't know <laughs> about a half a pound of peanuts over the last few days <laughs> and uh, it just finally caught up with me and yesterday right before filming I did eat a handful of peanuts and um, yeah it just it really took a toll and got stuck in my throat and <clears throat> caused all kinds of problems this morning I woke up and my face was completely swollen my throat was swollen um, my face broke out in uh, a <laughs> I don't even know why I'm telling you guys this <laughs> but my face broke out in a terrible rash and um, yeah so I've been on Benadryl all day and I'm very lucky that it wasn't more serious but um, yeah sometimes you don't I mean I know my allergies I know what I'm allergic to mostly uh, pecans, almonds, macadamians, hazel, like those types of nuts that grow on a tree. Um, because peanuts is considered a legume, it grows in the ground, you know. And um, yeah, so I'm I'm pretty safe with peanuts most of the time, but occasionally, just occasionally, um, it it can it some peanuts can also be meant, um, you know. Uh, bottled or, or canned in a factory that does other nuts so you just have to be careful like I may have eaten something throughout the day that was um, associated with some other kind of nut but I try to stay away from all kinds of um, nuts except for peanuts like I really like peanuts <laughs> for whatever reason I really do I love peanuts so my, my uncle brought me a jar of peanuts from Virginia. The, the Virginia nuts are so good. Um, they're like oversized and just really good. So yeah, my uncle was visiting, brought me some nuts from Virginia. And yeah, I would just, I went to town on it for whatever reason, tortured myself, engorged myself in peanuts. So yeah, that's all. That's what happened yesterday. Um, I'm lucky I did not go into any kind of anaphylactic shock or anything like that. But yeah, I just have to be a little bit more aware of the things that I'm eating. And this is partly why I'm doing this book as well. Um, just to be a little bit more in control of uh, my meals, my, in my intake and um yeah that's pretty much why i want want to do something like this and not only that like i make i cook almost every day here at home um and sometimes like some of the things i really i like to cook um some of the things i make are really good and i don't cook from a recipe so how do i how do i recreate something you know and um, I just figured that if I were to just make notes, right, just jot down a pinch of this, a dash of that, and it came out great. 
this way I won't put a pinch of that and a dash of this <laughs> and you know it's you know the opposite and um, the recipe would be off a little so that's why that's pretty much why I wanted to make a little recipe book as well as a meal tracker so I'm up to my fourth or uh, fifth uh, signature right now just chit chatting away with you guys and uh, yeah I, I want you guys to let me know like in the comments like are you guys participating <laughs> one two three four five yeah this is my fifth signature are you guys um, considering this as an option for your for your 2023 are you guys going to um, create something similar if so I would love to see I would love to see your pictures um, I need to get on my Instagram. I have not been on Instagram in a while just because of the holidays and family and renovations and a lot going on here at home. I just have not been, had time to um, update the Chronicles of a Crafter Instagram account, but I will. I will very soon. Plus, I, I know some of you have um, sent me DMs or direct messages on um, your uh, index card Scrabble Peach Challenge. So I would love to just uh, find some time really to go on there and show you guys some love on on your accomplishments because you know it's not easy like it's this is all work right and um, yeah it would be nice to see what y'all what y'all are up to so yeah and in this particular uh, file folder that we made this one had pockets and I just tucked in some oversized um, index cards in here and inked them in various colors so yeah okay so these will be great for actually getting a full recipe onto like I think that would be a great little um, a little jump start right so you can definitely write a full recipe on one of these and then put it into the right section that it belongs in so yeah that's why I have those so all I really did in this journal was did I do the first knot already I don't remember all I really did um, in this journal was um, insert quite a number of pages like regular writing paper and um, some lined paper as well as um, just one or two decorated pages so <clears throat> I'll show you guys what I did in here so as you can see this this is the lined paper that I put in what color was the last one black okay so this last this one will be white um, yeah so I'll show you guys what I put in here and this went fairly quick I thought it would take longer to stitch all of these in but it went fairly quickly so my my settings or my markings were um, 3 11 and 21 that's where I put my little my little marks for the holes for each signature and that lined up with the holes that I made for the eyelets on the outside of the signature and whoops got one more to push through and I don't think that hole is big enough let me find it um, sometimes you got to be careful you don't want your needle to make its own new hole so just just be careful <laughs> and right now right now my needle wants to make a new hole so at least on the inside okay I got it all right so I'm just going to even these up as even as they can be straighten everything up top and bottom and tie this up in a little lock knot. Um, 
right over left and then left over right and then a little bow yep everything is where it should be all right so now I'm going to train all of my signatures to lay flat and um, yeah so this one needs to be trained a little bit so these are just some of the pages that I put in here this is just some writing paper some loose leaf paper that I glued to this pretty um, this is like from a paper pack I believe it's what is it called Miss Elizabeth I think it's Miss Elizabeth I tossed the the wrapper in the trash but anyway um yeah miss elizabeth is the creator of this pretty paper right here some more loose leaf paper writing paper and um again this is a, a glued down piece of uh, loose leaf paper to the miss elizabeth um, um pretty paper and that's section number one section two again has these large index cards and i just decorated the inside of the folder with some um, ephemera paper in there so this one again part of miss elizabeth's uh, paper pack and i know it's i should have put this on this in the in the center of the signature but it says the most important ingredient okay and then on this side it says it's love so again another um this is my fourth signature and just another pretty uh paper um file folder and then pretty paper on the inside writing space and loose leaf paper here is the fifth signature again from that same paper pack writing paper loose leaf paper and a pretty file folder this one's a very plain file folder which is okay with me because that leaves me plenty of room to decorate it and again loose leaf paper file folder and a miss elizabeth's um, um pretty paper pack from the paper pack all right so this is what my journal looks like it has six signatures in here the tabs are cascading and they're all in the right order Whew, thank goodness so yeah and then all of my um signatures are nice and taut on the back here with no issues so the only other thing that i really wanted to show you guys was this little um oh and i did these little cards here so this again was from another pack i don't know what this pack where this pack came from because it was in a stack of paper that I picked up at the um, I think it was in Goodwill in Houston Texas when I was traveling through there and um, so yeah this just has some little tiny journaling cards um, this one says resolutions there was a clock it says happy new year a little hourglass um, a little tied bow around some more writing paper all of this is just um, lined uh, little journaling cards and this was the cutest little teapot that was in there and then I found these two little tags so of course these will go in my dessert section of my journal but I will start off with the New Year's Happy New Year the resolution and the clock on this first section right here um, and, and maybe I mean it depends on what the section is going to be titled because I still have to label all of my tabs to determine what each section is going to have so yeah this may be um, um, just part of the maybe the first section of the book we'll see where you know plenty of writing space you know just something to play with okay so there's that um, here on the spine of the book I wanted to put a little charm up here didn't know what I can possibly put I do have some teapots um, little you know charms from like the Alice in Wonderland teapot and things like that I thought I could probably string through and dangle from there I probably still will um, but not right at this moment what I did was I took a bunch of index cards the smaller of the index cards so about three by five or five by three whichever way you guys want to say that and I cut them in half right so now these are two and a half by three inch okay and then I inked around the edges of them so they're all inked after I cut them in half and then I just ran a little um, binder ring through it 
so that's going to go right whoa right right up here at the top of my my um signature i'm sorry my spine of the book and it clips on just like that all right and now i have plenty of writing spaces like these are just a bunch of little tiny journaling cards and they're so stinking cute like I can do so much with this and then you just pop one off you write what you need to write down find the section that it goes into stick it in there um, either with a bone nose clip or a binder clip or a paper clip or even a clothespin <laughs> whatever you have or you can just glue it down because it's plain on the back side there's nothing hindering it on the back side of each index card you can just glue it down into the section that you want to place it in and I thought this is just too stinking cute all right I think I've yapped enough for one day. <laughs> Guys, I am going to leave you right here. If you're participating in this junk journal process with me, please send me pictures and, and on Instagram, tag me on Instagram. Or um, yeah, you could just send it directly to my email address, which is chroniclesofacrafter at gmail.com. All of my links are down below in the description box, including my email address. Um, yeah, feel free to check out my um buy me a coffee link uh the the photo that's on there currently the uh the printout that you guys can print out it is free it does not cost you anything you can have that um i put that on there just for you guys it was around the holidays time so yeah you can just go ahead and download that um the buy me a coffee thing is completely optional i just didn't have anywhere else to post something for y'all so anyway there's that um yep and uh yeah just have a crafty day guys like go do something wonderful it's a new year make a book document your meals and um stay naturally curious all right i will definitely talk to y'all in the next video thanks for subscribing hitting that bell love y'all bye